Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to uh, Unity 2D tutorial, basically 2D Minecraft. Uh, this episode, we are going to be making, uh, making, making the player be allowed to place and break blocks. So, uh, also one thing I wanted to mention last time, I was I was mentioning Facebook uh, messages, and yes, I was receiving Facebook messages. However, um, the, I, I disabled system sounds through the recording, so you, nope, none of you heard it, so it's okay. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So, we left off with the player here being able to move left and right and jump on this low platform, obviously, of which he can fall off. There you go. Goodbye, player. Anyways, let's uh, let's get started on building and breaking blocks. So, we'll go here. We'll create a new script, JavaScript, and we'll call this. What should we call this? For now, let's just call it. Cur block. Manager, I was thinking block manager. Block manager, why not? Okay. Let's quickly format this one here. Okay, let's get right down to business. If input dot dot get key get mouse button down. Uh let's go with zero. Zero is left click. Okay, so that'll be for breaking blocks. Uh, if physics 2D, physics 2D, let me quickly check the thing. Physics 2D. Fix 2D dot raycast, yes. Let's find it here. Where the hell are you? Raycast. Here we go actually. I remember from the last time I did something like this. We're gonna have to go here and create a variable. Var hit. Uh, raycast hit 2D. Oops. Physics 2D dot raycast. Uh, not transform dot position. Um, let me see this. Screen point to world. Green two point world, never mind. Um, so here it is physics 2D camera dot screen. Screen to world point lowercase c apparently. Okay, and uh, vector three, vector three dot forward. I think this is how I did it last time. This may work. Um, no. Dot mouse pos position. I think this was it. Let me just double check input dot mouse position. Yeah, this was it. Camera dot main, of course. Okay, and this should get me no errors. Never mind, error. Where's my error? Ah, right here. If hit. 
Actually, we'll just say if we'll immediately go in here and do if hit dot game object dot no hit dot collider dot game object dot tag equals block then destroy ah hit dot collider dot game object and then down here if input dot get mouse button down one if uh, there is no hit then instantiate selected block uh, camera dot main dot screen to world point input dot mouse position quaternion dot identity and then of course oh actually we'll create a variable for instance block game object instance block equals instantiate okay and then instance block dot transform dot position dot x equals math f dot round dot transform and we'll copy this line here and we'll paste in y and y that should give us no errors except yeah no unknown identifier select the block so we'll go here and we'll go var uh, grass block equals a game object var dirt block game object private var selected block equals game object and then we can go yeah so we'll do that for now and let's just say just on start because we're not going to do uh, switching blocks yet we'll do that in the next episode we'll just say selected block equals gra or dirt block okay and quickly here function awake let me just see here resources dot load I know exactly what I'm looking for I just need to make sure that I go and do it properly here we are okay grass block equals resources dot load I believe we called it grass and game object and then dirt block game object and that should work there we are just that little warning about the uh, animator thing plus it downcast okay so block manager let's attach this to our main camera and then let's update the main camera prefab okay so then just to be sure this should be set when we're playing our game and it has not been set okay that's fine we could just void this by uh, removing this I appear to have done something oh maybe I can go 
Is there such thing as prefab? No, there is not. Okay, let's just avoid this. And the whole awake function. I could have accidentally pressed in in INS. I don't know what it is. Insert. Um, anyways, we could just leave that. And then we'll just drag in our two different block types here. Block dirt. Block grass. And now I understand why we messed up, actually. This is supposed to be block underscore grass. And this is supposed to be block underscore dirt. Oh. There we are. Okay. Play the game. What has gone wrong? Apparently, okay, <laughs> excuse me again. We'll just get rid of this for good this time. For good. Never coming back. Let's go. What is this? What's going on now? Here. Raycast to. What's wrong with this line? Maybe... Is it still doing it? I'm not entirely sure what's wrong here. Maybe it's my camera.main. No, oh, that appears to be the problem. Okay, so we can get rid of blocks. I accidentally fell off there. So we can get rid of blocks here. We can also... Can we? We cannot place blocks. Why can we not place blocks? Let's see. Instance block. Instantiate selected block. Camera.main again. My bad. Okay. And let's try that again. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, it is spawning the dirt blocks, but where? How come? Oh, I think I know why they're not visible. I think I had this bug before. Oh, he's just spawning them right here. Okay, that's a problem. So, plus vector 3. Zero, zero, ten. And that should put them at the regular position. There we are. And just to double check, they're exactly the same position. Wonderful. Okay. Now you may be noticing there's little random lines appearing everywhere. Now if you don't want those, maybe yours are more frequent, if you don't want those, simply go Edit, Project Settings, Quality, and select Fastest, and make sure everything is disabled, and uh, literally everything is disabled. Like, you don't need almost any of this in when you're making 2D. So I'm just going to actually set my default to Fastest for PC as well, so it doesn't get that when you're playing the game. And there you go, there's much less lines going around. Okay. Oh, and apparently we have another problem. What is our problem here? Ah. Oh, so if we click in random space, does it do that? Yeah, it does. Else. Actually, we could just say else. We could just say else if there's no hit, then it does this. We could just go like that, and then we could say else. Uh, 
I don't know. Return. I'm not sure if I'm using this in the correct context. Mm -hmm. Opa. Yeah. Why is it just stopping there? Is there. Oh, because there is no hit. Of course. Okay, we'll cut this here if hit. And we'll go if hit dot collider. And we'll go like that. Okay, that should be fine. There shouldn't be any errors there. Excuse me for this one here. Oh, there you go, yeah. It worked. So when there's nothing you place and when there's something it gets rid of it. So you only really need one mouse or one button to play this game, which is pretty sick. If you ask me. I mean, because why why do you need two buttons anyway? I mean, you're you're not placing blocks on top of each other, are you? No. So we could just go into the endless infinity. Actually, we could just fall and then place a block beneath us. And just go on and on until we reach the depths of doom. Anyways, we won't do that. Not today. But uh, that is it for this episode. Placing and, uh, and, and destroying blocks. Next episode we will enhance this. And basically, we will create a little system that only lets you place blocks if you have uh, that kind of block with you. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, check the description for my personal channel. And uh, uh, like the video, subscribe, do whatever it is you can to support. Because uh, support is good. Uh, thanks again. Yeah.